Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of Clock Hunting. Uh, you guys should probably go watch the uh, Let's Talk on Death and Everything Later from Pain. Kind of explains a little more why I'm out here, but I will say though, for those who are just watching the clock videos on my channel, I'm out here in Washington again because my grandfather, sub grandfather, passed away. More details in the other video. I'm going to try and keep this on with clocks. This is my room in my grandma's house where I'm staying. It's, um, it's old. I like old things, like TV's kind of cool. Look at this, look at this TV remote here. I like kind of old stuff. I have an Odyssey 2 video game system, but thinking about sleeping in it is just a little bit, a little bit unsettling and creepy, but, you know, not too bad. So, um, I'm just gonna show some clips off here. I feel like last time I was in Washington, this is in, uh, last time I was in Walla Walla, and right now we are in, beautiful temple thing, picture, we are in, um, Pasco, Washington. And so I just kind of feel like I need to get more of the atmosphere. I felt like I didn't get enough there, so I'm gonna try and get some, a little bit more of the atmosphere of Washington out here and show you guys kind of what it's like. Especially for my buddies who back in Orm haven't been to Washington before. Show the atmosphere. So that will be what I'm going to try and do. All of it's going to be shot on my phone. So I have um, maybe not the best quality. This is 4K. I think it looks pretty good. But that way I do have my camera with me. But this way I don't have any. Um, the shots look the same. And also because I'm using my phone to film in the thrift store. So it's a little bit less attention grabbing. You know, I, I kind of think, you know, some people might look at me and maybe be like, oh, he's on a video call with somebody or just taking some video or pictures to send to somebody to see if they want this item kind of thing. Which, I don't think thrift stores are against you filming inside. You know, a lot, I know, I watch LGR who does it. I've seen other videos on YouTube that do it quite regularly as a series, filming on their phones. So that's a thing. I'm not too worried about... I'm not too worried about anything anybody saying don't film in here but yeah so we're gonna do some clock hunting and don't worry I'm I'm not super sad so it will be just kind of not necessarily making the best of it but I just decided to do that while I'm out here give myself some souvenirs I don't have a lot of space there's not specifically space for the clocks yet but I'm out here not very often so I decided to go ahead and do that kind of take that option and yeah that's the plan, get some clock hunting while I'm out here, just for fun. So, yeah, um, at this point, I don't know exactly when, but there will be some hunting. It's gonna be fun. This is the selfie cam. Highest it does is 1080, so... Yeah, the be rear cameras definitely look better, but I'm filming my face, because I wanted to say, also, I was thinking this time what I might do is, um, I might buy a few clocks with the intent on flipping them because what i found and a lot of times you saw some of this in the last episode is i have found that um like i'll look online and see a clock that's much more expensive it's better condition but the one that i see at the thrift store has just a couple of scratches on it in some places you know it could be from the thrift store could be from the owner who had it before they gave donated it I don't exactly know but I'm gonna look for the intent of you know I'm, I'm my guess I'm not positive but I'm thinking like let's see this clock here's no oh, this clock's 20 bucks online and they're selling it for like five bucks here two dollars here at the thrift store whatever um, if I account for the scratches I can go 15 bucks and make something and that's something that's gonna be maybe a little bit difficult for me to do, especially if I find something that really grabs at me. But I'm gonna get one or two clocks to just try that with and see how it goes. Cause I don't know. It might be something something that I think could be I don't know. I don't think of doing it seriously as a job. But it's something that could be an option, something that I might do from time to time. The clocks that I have in my collection though, they are not being sold unless I legitimately have to. Like, if I am gonna end up on the street, if I don't sell some of my stuff, then I will. But until then, no. So that's kind of some of the plan. Man, thrifting at its finest. Got 
already seen where the clocks are, but I'm just kind of having a look around. Possibly a musical. Huh. Ooh, some Beethoven. I like Beethoven. I think I've heard of this one. Wait, no. The later mass. Would that be the uh Play? I'm not sure, but I went and saw a BYU's version of it a few years ago, of the, I think it was Deflator Moss. So yeah, there's also Tauflator Moss, which is the YouTube channel. Love that channel. Go check him out. I've only seen, oh, there we go, I've only seen a tape recorder of this size, like, once. Um, and that was at a, a friend's house, an elderly friend, I should say. Not that it's a bad thing, but just so taut, small and tiny, and I'm used to like portable full-size cassette decks. Don't even see how to open it, but it's got basic settings. This is a good pocket recorder. The thing about my friend is, you know, she's kind of still... Let's just say she's not up with the times completely, and so like this is something like... Uh, a little bit more so than maybe some other people, because this is like... Oh, and the tapes are still good for them, never been opened, and, you know, it could be useful for recording stuff, and, or like, you know, if you ever, I forget what situation, but she had something like a bad situation, and then you need audio evidence of what's going on, good option. Yeah, this would work, but, the, I'm recording on my phone right now, that's a slightly better option. Well, it depends, I mean, like, you have to open up the app and get it set up. Not ideal, this is easy if you can just reach in your pocket and record. But, yeah, I don't know. I just thought this was kind of cool, but I have no need for or use for that at all. I don't even want it. There's some old things that are cool, like having one old computer to play some old games that I used to play as a kid on this grate. But branching out into too much old stuff is like, no. Oh, but now this. I'm pretty sure we have some of these. This is something that I've thought about. Because, you know, uh, online websites, a lot of various tech websites and stuff say keep your phone battery between 80 and 20%. Never let it go below or above. That will make it last the longest. And the, the, the smaller range you have, so if you kept it, um, so I don't know, if you kept it below, let's say, 40 and 60% would be even better. But, you know, there's a point where you can't really last that long during the day or even use it like that but so I think this would be I'm gonna talk about this in another video but this would be cool because then I can instead of having my phone sitting on the charger all night like I usually do I can plug it in and have it set to turn on just before I wake up and have it fully juiced up by then based on about how much it will last and variables like that that's an option something cool brought lots of snackies with me but this Sort of. Just open up for once. Two pieces. A little bit tough to get open. There we go, there we go. Suitcase. This is specifically for the clocks. Or briefcase, it's really solid. And, um, I don't know, it'll just make it good. A little bit, a bit dirty in there. I didn't wash it, I vacuumed it out, but some dirt just wants to stick. Um, it will fit like that square pink clock I got last time, the big one, it will fit that in the middle. So if I need more room, I will, but this will be enough to fit some clocks in here and some, maybe some other knickknacks from the thrift stores and keep them safe on the trip home. This one also is a little bit rattly. $2.99, no, but we, I think we got some at home. So I'll go ahead and try those. On my way up to get a cart, I saw Premier Treat and Train. Um, what it looks to me like is some weird, it, there's like a down slash stay sessions. 
high, medium, low, it, and cup mint. It looks to me like something you would leave to like, it would dispense food every so often for uh, your dog when you're away. I don't know. And then, oh, ah, I've seen one of these and I had a video of it. And then I, it's hard to get the video off of the phone. This one's by Brickstone. That was a long time ago, the phone. But this is a, it's a motorized tie rack basically. So you hang it up and then press the buttons to have it rotate around and bring you all of your ties around. Here we go. Ah, uh, well, no, that's warped on the side. That's, I don't even, oh, there we, 99 cents. Okay, so I don't want it because it's so beat up, but for that price, not bad. I mean, I don't even know if it actually still works, but hey. Uh, Accurate. The map, temperature, month, and day, snooze button, no plug, Emerson Research. I don't have a clock by them yet. That one's kind of generic, doesn't really grab me. Um, this is nice, missing the fancy pens, but the things like this. Oh, wait, nope. Um, okay, yeah. This does have an alarm, so. There we go, okay. How much? I mean, $2. That's that's a maybe. Not a definite. I mean, if I had the pens, probably, yeah, but, like, those are nice. Not really my style. Ooh. Sony. With red accents. $1.99. These are good prices. It's got, like, a radio cord that looks like it's been severed a bit, but, I mean, it would still probably work. I should have grabbed myself a cart. I'm gonna go up and do that. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know how this clip ended up like this. Uh, I'll just give it a flip and call it good because there's not much else I can do. Ah, uh, this. It's like, you know when you see those things that have like herbs and fruits and vegetables and some oil and water and stuff in there and they're sealed up just to look beautiful? It's like that. But I don't know what those are, and there's like a clear leaf down in there, and it's a foot-shaped wine bottle-esque top, and it just looks gross. Ugh. My iPhone, first edi fifth edition, sorry, covers iPhone 3GS, 4, and 4S running iOS 5. That's bad, my sir. Back in the day, this was kind of a needed thing, <laughs> but now every most everybody knows how to use a phone, and. I don't know. It'd just be easier to go asking your grandson how to do something. Especially with the way it's changed and updated and... Man. I kind of honestly hope there aren't books on working newer phones like this, because I feel that's kind of a waste of paper. I mean, I'm not a huge book reader. Books aren't bad, but I prefer audio books. Just go digital. Paper still has an audience. Fortunately, though, paper is kind of, well, it's renewable. If we don't use it in the best way, it does sometimes build up, you know? But it is one thing that is uh, renewable. So, yeah. Well, we got ourselves a cart, and I stopped by the DVDs because I saw the Alamo, which I remember us watching once. I thought we had a VHS tape at home, but my mom doesn't remember that, so it must have been on TV or something. And I thought they liked it, but she said, nah, didn't really care for it, didn't remember it much. But, Picked up Bridge to Terabithia for $2.99. I'm gonna get it because I remember seeing it once at a friend's house found when it came out. And I remember kind of liking it, but not fully understanding it. And now that I'm older, I'd love to watch it again and see if I really like it again. And hopefully I'll understand things better and get the deeper meaning behind it. That's always always fun, although I, I should do that with more movies that I haven't seen in years. Because I, I, I see a movie in my head real so well that I don't watch it again. But I'm gonna pick up more movies as time goes on and watch them again. See what they like. Oh boy, some dials and sound carrier, color bar and dot generator, I don't know. For six ninety nine. Wow. That seems that seems a little bit cheap for that, but then I don't know. We got a 
Titanic motion picture music. Yeah. Ooh, a JBL. Not that I want it, but it's just an unusual shape and it's for iPods and stuff. And here's a crystal calibrated mark generator with, well, that's tough to turn, but I don't know. Stuff like this is kind of cool to look at and mess with. Here, the clickiness of the switches. Stuff you don't get nowadays. Sony CD player. Ooh, a space heater. Could have been good last night. Now we got ooh, digital photo frame. Never actually seen one of those in action, so I don't know. Sharper image. 0411. A, um. No DC power supply battery operated. Probably could find one here, but we won. Want the Sony with the red accents. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick out a few more clocks. Four channel adapter by Sheraton. Nice clicky, but then it locks in place down there. Interesting. I don't know. In motion. Looks like it could be maybe an alarm clock. I'll source big speakers. I don't know. I mean, probably doesn't sound. I don't know how good it sounds. Probably not super good, but it's because of its size. I would think it would sound good. Anything like this size might sound better than like this. Um, ooh, time link. Really? Okay. This is um one ninety nine for the big one. Two ninety nine for the little one. We'll have to test on that, makes me suspicious and curious. Also have a big uh, living solutions clock volume tuning. I do want something with like an iPod dock in my collection just because, but at the same time it kind of repulsive. <laughs> Speakers and iPad dock, yeah. Ooh. Big display West clocks with a snooze 199. Ooh, I love the sleekness of it. Let's let's go test. Not as nice as Savers test area, but hey. Actually if I rest my there we go, let's start with the uh start with the Sony here. He lights up and radio. FM. Hey, the radio works. Put my card in out of the aisle. I started on two. And, oh wait, no. One's covered by that, so the alarm. This should be on the alarm. This is the drum roll. This is where we get to see if it works or not. Because I'm digging this style. There's few scratches on top. The other thing I want to do while I'm here is I'm going to look kind of around and see if I can find a clock that I think will be good to flip, and then I'll probably try selling it online, which is going to be tricky because I probably won't want to part with it, but also, you know, so I'll probably, you know, and I'm thinking it could be good because, like, this is $1.99. Something like this might go for $20 online, and, you know, if I account for the scratches and stuff that I got, it works. This news works, too. So if I count for the scratches I got probably from previous owner, maybe some from people picking it up and setting it back down on the shelf here in the Goodwill, maybe $15 to sell it for, but that's a good consideration. 
There is some scratching on the front face, but not too bad. Overall, good condition. Um, oh. It is missing the battery door on the bottom. That's not too much of a worry, but it would be nice to have that. You know, and this might be a thing I could even like buy one of these offline and sell this one. Which I would lose, well, let's say I am, would I be able to sell this for 20 bucks, sorry, 15 bucks online. I would I be able to sell this for 15? And then I buy one that's better conditioned for 20 online, then essentially I pay $5 for the same thing. Not a bad idea. I might do that. Let's get the next one ready. Okay, next up is this uh, time link clock. I, something interesting, like, so this one is $2.99, the others, bigger ones are $1.99. I'm thinking maybe possibly this one might be priced a little bit higher, I think it's going to go a little bit faster because it's uh, small and more portable. If you're looking for a, a clock separate from your phone, for whatever reason, you might want one that doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, simple and easy, uses your alarm. And so that might be why this is priced a little more expensive. It also is maybe subjectively nicer. There's a little bit fewer scratches. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm getting this. No excuses. This one is definitely buying... Well, okay, we have to make sure it works. Um, push the time button down. I mean, it, there we go. That looks awesome. And the alarm is turned on. This is not one that rings... Okay, this one. We have to get this one. This is so cool. I might even actually use this as maybe my regular clock. Because I do have one clock in my room, so like I can turn to one side and see it without blinding my eyes. Because even my phone on the lowest brightness is sometimes too bright, but that clock is just the right level. And I use that one specifically. It's the CD player one that I have. I use that one because it has a time... Uh, a daylight savings time button on the bottom. So you just hold that down for a second and good to go okay yep let's make sure that Ooh. there's even a battery inside of it okay yes this one is definitely we're getting this no excuses no questions asked <sighs> that is that is beautiful huh wonder why there's those weird screw holes like maybe you'd mount it to something I don't know but hey Oh boy, find of the day. A little bit of scuffing on the back there that might be cleaned up easily, or even a marker, you know, might wipe that, fix that scuff off maybe. Let's test this last one here. And then I think uh, we'll check a few more out, but we're probably seeing enough. I'll look around the rest of the store though, because I like thrifting in general anyways. I'm here for clocks, but I can get whatever I like, like that eyeball duck mouse from the last uploaded episode. So we got, um, time. Oh, we got possibly an uh, issue here. Can't change time hour, time minutes. Snooze button don't work. Um, set it to high. Pretty scratchy on the face too, so time button is held down. Holding the minute button down doesn't work, the alarm but that. Okay. Um, let's... Okay, there's no battery in the emergency slot here. So if I just give this a clear complete unplug, wait a second or two, plug it back in. So I push the time button down. Push the minute button down, that doesn't... Nope. Can set the alarm, but can I set the time? No. I cannot set the time. You're going back on the shelf and I am not even considering you. I mean, it's a nice style. I do kind of like to get model numbers just because maybe I'll find them later online and buy them. It's not one that I'm like, oh yes, I have to look this up online because it's not working here, but this is not working. No. Really quickly though. Ooh. I love that color of the cord. It goes with that lamp. <laughs> 